On board meeting, Mr. Bell here was stating that the residential solar requirement for site plan review was really targeted towards commercial, and therefore he would like to make residential solar and accessory apartments exempt from site plan review. And they passed that. They who? They who? Who, who passed that? You're talking about us? The, the planning board, board has been requiring... No, 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 no. You said they passed it. Who are you talking about passing whatever you're talking about? Who passed it? You did. This board passed it? Yes. That, that, that never happened. I, I, don't, I don't know, but I know we didn't modify the solar law to remove site plan for residential. I don't remember that since I, you know, wrote the law. As I said, I, I kind of pirated this from a couple of other municipalities. Yeah. Move on to your next set of nonsense. Go ahead. So that's not accurate at all. On the said. town's YouTube channel. It never happened. You do have a YouTube channel. The town has a YouTube channel? You have a YouTube channel. We don't. The town of the branch doesn't have a YouTube channel. That's my point here. Can I have, while we're on the topic. No, I'm correcting the bullshit, sir. You can say totally inaccurate things, but when you do, I'm going to say, yeah, that never happened. We don't have a YouTube channel. Please proceed with whatever nonsense you're going to say next. Standards for special permits in the town require that any application for a special use permit is subject to site plan review. Requirements for site plan reviews, they're pretty clearly targeted at commercial development, where if people are going to put up some solar in their backyard. The requirements there don't make any sense. What I'm suggesting that we do is in the special permit section say that both that and accessory apartments, which is also a residential thing, are exempt from site plan because it just doesn't make any sense to ask for that kind of thing.